Welcome to WebStyle Press. After creating infinite slider, carousel, and marquee using different techniques and libraries, in this video we are building it in React.js. So first of all, install React. I'm using Vite, so npm create Vite at latest. Open the directory, here open terminal, then install this package, vanilla infinite marquee. This is its usage and the options. Direction, space between, gap, speed, smooth edges, pause on hover. The dogs are not friendly, but we will try our best. So here, npm i vanilla dash infinite dash marquee. Install this package. So npm run dev. Open the app in Visual Studio Code or your code editor. And here's the app. Let's remove this. We don't need this. In this CSS, we don't need this as well. So first I will import CSS from the package in the app.css file. Then in the app.gsx, I will import use date and the package from vanilla infinite marquee. Then here is our use effect. Inside use effect, we initialized an instance of slider or marquee with the settings that this package offers. Speed, I know value for the speed is a lot. Smooth edge is true, direction left, duplicate content too, pause on hover true. And these are mobile settings. I plan to use marquee on images and text. So I will have two data arrays here images and the text, array for the text and for the images. These images will come from public folder. And also here we will clean up marquee instance on component unmount inside the use effect, right? And then let's display the marquee. So this is the div with marquee dash container class name, this one. And then we are mapping over images, this array, and displaying those images here. Save inside public folder. These are the images, nine images. So let's see. Here is the result. And for the text, we can create another instance of this marquee like this. This time we map our text array. And here is the result. So this is beautifully working, but we have created a mess in this component. Let's create a separate marquee component and clean the mess. So here, let's create a file. Let's name it infinitemarquee.gsx. Let's create the component. At the top, import use effect and the package. I intend to keep few things dynamic so that I be able to control each marquee instance. So for that, I will keep these dynamic data type, image or text, data array, actual data in array format, heat value and the direction. Then here is our use effect hook with these settings. And see so now these are dynamic speed, direction, data type and data array we'll use below. And now, if data type is image, this data type, then map or array of images. Otherwise, map or text array. So this is our component that we're going to use. And now, in the app.gsx file, we don't need this. We don't need imports. We have array of text and image. We will be importing a component 
infinite marquee. And now instead of this, we will use this infinite marquee. And then inside it, if we want to use images, we can do something like this. Data type image, this will determine the type and data array IMGS, that's the original data, the images array. And then we have the speed and direction left. Let's see. And if we use direction right, now it's going in that direction. And if we want to use this text, then we can do something like this, data type text. And then data array, this text. Let's keep its direction to the left. But in this case, both marquees are moving in the same direction. So the problem is here. Both marquees are using same selector. So to fix this, we should make this class unique. Let's make class name dynamic. Element will be like this. And then here, instead of same class, let's use this class name, class name. And now we can assign the class from here. And now it's perfectly fine. Let's move it to the left direction and this marquee to the right. And here is the result. Let's move both to left direction. And here is the result. Pause on hover is also in effect. So now this code is clean. And we have created infinite marquee in React.js. Of course, you can further adjust the settings according to your needs. Questions, suggestions, recommendations, use comments section below. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.